Martha Wash, welcome to our show, Profiles. Thank you very much. I'm I, glad to be here. I've been a big fan of yours for a long time, and of course, you are known as The Voice, and for good reason. Okay. And for good reason. <laughs> and most of our viewers, I'm sure, will remember you uh, for your 1982 mega hit, It's Raining Men. Yes. And what surprises me about that tune is I hear it on the radio all the time. I hear it a lot, and I just kind of laugh and keep on walking. <laughs> Well, that was uh, that must have been fun making that. It was. It was. All right. Well, I, I did want to say in the 80s and, and 90s, just to backtrack a little bit, uh, because you have such an interesting story, uh, your vocals uh, were part of dozens of hits, some credited. We need, I did want to go over this, and some uncredited. In fact, your courtroom efforts uh, have spurred legislation uh, making vocal credits mandatory on compact discs and music videos. Am I correct there? Yes. Yes. Uh, you probably have to credit my attorney <laughs> more than me, but yes. And it was a long-term process? It took a couple of years. Well, let's backtrack a little bit for our viewers that may not be familiar uh, as to what led up to that, okay? Because two of your uncredited top hits were Everybody, Everybody by Black Box, mm -hmm. And Sweat, better known as Everybody Dance Now, and uh, that, that became one of the biggest hooks uh, of the decade. Correct. Everybody Dance Now. Correct. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Little Mickey. <laughs> by, by CC Music Factory. Uh, and in these cases, your voice was the hook right. that made these songs hits. Right. However, uh, you were uncredited mm -hmm. and did not receive the proper amount of royalties. Mm -hmm. uh, and is that is that true? Uh, at that time, that was true. Basically hired as a subcontractor? Actually, I was in there to um, um, uh, do it as a demo for somebody else. Oh. The song was, was for somebody else. I went in there to do it as a demo. You laid down the track. Exactly. And they realized that your voice was better than anybody else they could come up with. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Now, I, <laughs> I have to ask you this. Is it true that your riff on Everybody Dance Now was uh, lip sync by a female model, which I think it was? Okay. For, for uh, Everybody Dance Now, that was lip sync by Selma Davis. Okay. Whether she was a model or not, I don't know. Could she know. sing? Yes, yeah, Selma can sing. Well, why didn't they use her voice? That I don't know. Is it also true that, they ex that you felt they excluded you, as most felt, because of your size? I didn't know that the whole thing was going on until I saw the video on TV. I, I didn't know anything had happened. You're as kidding far as me. The No, the video, I saw the video for the first time and knew about the video when I saw it on TV in my hotel room <laughs> as I was getting ready to do a show somewhere. And how did you feel? I just stood there with my mouth hung open. I said, I don't believe this. And uh, called my manager. Uh, he was in another room, and told him what I saw. Right. And uh, they, uh, he called their management, and you know, like, what's going on? Why are you doing this? You know. And it went back and forth for a while, and we said, you can't do this because right, something's wrong. People, here. people know my voice. Um, because I've been around for a while <laughs> say, by that time anyway. Yeah. So we, we had to take some legal action about that. As everything turned, it took a while for that to uh, be resolved. I'm sure. It all worked itself out. It did work itself on out. On both sides and uh, wound up recording another CD with them and going out on the road with them. All right, so your relationship with CC Music Factory yeah. uh, was good for your career. Yes. Oh. She's got